When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. All new technology UPS brings to me, that's logistics. And you look at that game and you sit there and say, well, what are the answers? I don't know if there is an answer for us to beat Northern Illinois right now. They don't turn the ball over. They run the ball in a way that says, well, gosh, we held them for three quarters. Well, that's what that kind of running attack does. Go look at what they did to Ball State. Go look at the other games. They have a running attack that wears you down. And it, and it looks like they're not concerned about being in too close of a game early because they know they're going to wear you down. And they did. Quarterback is a phenomenal running quarterback. I think he's the leading rusher in the country as a quarterback. Now, but are there answers to how you need to play better? Yes. How do we not th have the turnovers? How do we give? How do we have we rough a punter? Surely we can coach better than that, or we got coach our guys up better. How do we fumble the first kickoff, then fumble and lose the second kickoff? And those are the things that pretty much put us behind. And then when when they're they're having to settle for field goals. We get to 13 to 7 with a minute and 20 seconds left where you say this is going to make them really think about things that had. They're going to go in there and talk about all these terrible things. It had, then they just come back and methodically drive it down to go back up and, and regain momentum. And uh, they had the ball coming back out. And, uh, but the uh, defense started out very, I think the defensive scheme started out well to hold people to tend the team like that to field goals and a few punts. And then offensively, we couldn't do a thing. They whipped us up front. Chisholm being gone, he played a little bit but couldn't go at all after the first couple of kickoffs. Adam Bice, our best lineman, uh, sprained his ankle, tried to go back in, but he was out, and uh, we had nowhere to go after that. And that uh, number 90 just took uh, – he, he, is it number – that defensive end just – I mean, he was – he could get back there. But anyway, we, um, what, we had, what we would have had to do just to keep this close is to – we've got to we've we've get them – we've got to figure out how not to turn the ball over a bunch of times like we did. And uh, I think we had three fumbles and might have had an, inter an interception on top of that, four, four turnovers. And they had none. I said, second week in a row, our, the team we play has no. That's why these two teams are in the championship. They don't turn the ball over. They uh, uh, play smart foot. They play, they play winning football. Every, every good defense, we struggle a little bit more. But when we play a good team, we're not as good. There's a, there's a trick. I mean, that's not a trick. It's just the reality is, when we are equal to somebody or may a little better, we, the offense can go. When they are better than us, their defense is better than our offense, it shows drastically. And unfortunately, bowling, the two that come to mind are Bowling Green and uh, North Northern Illinois, and they're the two best defenses, I believe, in the conference. And um, what disappoints me is that, that we, we – we, um, and I, I have to look at film. I had to look, I've got to look at, look at some film and see because I you know, hate to say it to them and say, well, I'm mad about this, mad about that. Just, and then you go look at film and you find it was something else altogether. But, but George, we, we, we've, we've, got to get, we, we've got to get to where our offense is better than the better defenses. And, you know, whether that comes out to, to 28 or 32 points or whatever it is, it's got to come out to a little bit more than the seven.